eve of the 100th tour. Um, you've come to the tour again with, with, with two ambitions, at uh, mm -hmm. stage wins, um, predominantly through, through Andre Greipel, and also high up in the, in the overall classification with, uh, with Jürgen Lennon. Now, uh, how do you, as a manager, how do you make those, those aims reconcile? How do you recon reconcile those aims? Well, I think it's, it's possible because uh, they proved it last year. And uh, even two years back, uh, we came with uh, Philip Gilberry. Yeah. So we had three leaders. And uh, after, I think, nine or ten stages, I was happy with the leaders because we lost in one stage two riders, uh, amongst them uh, Vandenbroek and Willem. So, um, and another one in the crash, we were left with six riders to, to finish the tour. Uh, so it's not always a disadvantage to have more leaders than one. Yeah. Um, if something happens, you have another one. You do. You have options clearly, but um, also, do they do they detract from one another having having uh, having these these different aims? Does going for a sprint detract from Jürgen Vandenbroek's uh, goals? No, no. I think uh, they don't have uh, really. They're not competitors in the race. That's clear. Uh, so if we if we are in front with uh, with Andre for the sprints, Jürgen can easily take profit of those positions mm -hmm. because he has to be there as well. Mm -hmm. And then uh, those guys like uh, Hansel and uh, Mark Clark and other ones, Willems, they can stay a long time with him in uh, in the climbs. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we saw Adam really improving the last week and give him uh, real support in the mountains. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's one team with two goals, that's it. Right, yeah, absolutely. Um, how is Jürgen uh, these days? He's, he's grown and he's obviously become very consistent in, in big races. Mm -hmm. um, has he grown himself as a leader? Well, it, it wasn't his best year in, in preparation of the Tour, you know. Uh, every year normally he does a good result in the Dauphiné. Uh, this year he was sick. I didn't have the, res the result which we expected and he expected. Mm -hmm. But uh, being sick, you have a reason. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason is gone now, he's healthy. And uh, right after he could go uh, on altitude training, mm -hmm. as was uh, planned. And from there on, uh, he took confidence again and I think he's ready for it. Right, yeah, absolutely. And a word on, on Andre and, the, uh, and, and the, the huge number of, of teams that are, that are fielding sprinters. Mm -hmm. What does it What does it do for the race? I mean, you've got maybe five or six teams who, who want to be competitive there, and they all come with people piling mm -hmm. to the front. Does it yeah. Does it make it worse every year? This Yes, <laughs> it's the tour, and uh, if you want to win uh, with a sprinter, you have to be really top level mm -hmm. to win. And um, this year is really a high standard, high level. Yeah. Um, all the best sprinters of the world they are here, uh, with teams are supporting them. Um, last year was a little bit different because of Sky was not really pulling for uh, Cavendish. Mm -hmm. This year will be different. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a team for him, I think. Uh, Kittel is there. Uh, he was only a few stages last year, mm -hmm. so I think there more there is more support mm -hmm. to have a field sprint. Yeah. Last year it was not so easy. Yeah, sure. And uh, it's just it's just quite sort of interesting, really, that you have. Um, uh, all these teams with sprinters and GCs, uh, GC contenders. Um, is, is it a necessity for a team now to to field a sprinter and a general classification rider? Maybe not at the same race, but mm -hmm. you know, in general. Yeah, in general. Well, I think uh, we did a few years without a, a really top sprinter, and then it's you feel it's a lack. It's a lack in your team. Um, you miss it, and you can feel the team needs to win from time to time. Mm -hmm. Not only for the rider, but uh, for the riders but also for the, for the whole staff, mm -hmm. to have the feeling like, mm -hmm. yes, we won. Yeah. Um, and if you, if you can win, like Andrew, he, up to now he won 11 races, I think. The last was on Sunday, yeah. German champion. It gives always a boost, you know, winning just before the Tour. And uh, Vandenbroek, another one-day race, he was pretty good in the Belgian championship. Mm -hmm. So I think they're both ready for it, and the team is. Is it important for points as well, to have a sprint? Well, it's, I don't think the sprinters are really uh, in advantage. Yeah. I think the, the GC riders uh, they're more in advantage if, mm -hmm. if, if it's towards the points. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.